Hello everybody, let me show you a feature that will allow you to remove vocals out of your favorite songs or create your own custom instrumentals. First thing that you need to do, if you haven't already, is make sure you go to virtualdj.com. From there, scroll down and click on download and download the version for your computer. Once that's installed, now I have my layout set up on the pro screen. We click over onto audio. You should be greeted if you're doing it for the first time with equalizer control settings. You have the ability to do traditional frequency control, EQs only, and you would use the stem pads. You could do the easy remix, which gives you vocal, instrumental, and beat. Modern EQ, which expands that a little bit. For the sake of argument, I usually will do the easy remix or I'll do the traditional EQ and I will set up vocal and instrumental as the filter. I'll show you how to do that. Oh, here's our filter. You could do a vocal cut. This is kind of cool because it takes care of everything for you. Our stem pads pages are accessible over here and you can put them in any order you want. new feature that they just added is you can adjust the different blend settings. Gives you a lot more control than what you had previously. And let's take a look. I don't have a dedicated graphics card, so Virtual DJ is using the CPU on my computer to compile what the stems are. It's pretty much available as soon as you see it come up here on the screen and you can make use of it. Now we just removed the vocals. We can go the opposite direction. And this is also available on our pad page over here, which will equate to whichever pad page controller you happen to be using. That's how we make our own instrumentals. Similarly, as we made the changes, you can see it happen on the pads as well. And that's a basic overview on how to use the STEM feature. Now there's a couple of things that people may want to tweak with. Um, if you have a slower computer, we do have a couple of settings that are available. And there's a couple of options that we have with our controls. These are newly added. You can change gray on kill. It's a good feature to have. Our math engine can be set to automatic. GPU and it makes it almost instantaneous. Um, on mine, it's an older computer, so I'm gonna go with the CPU. You do have the option to disable the feature completely, and that takes everything right out of the equation. You can even see the brand new wave just reverted back. The other thing you can do, if you have a older, slower computer or tablet that's a quad-core Atom processor, not a blazing fast system, but adequate for playing audio, stems is gonna to be too much for it. So you do have the option of creating manually. You can either have it always create or only use pre-computed. They give you a lot of different options here, including 
max length in minutes. So that gives you some of the features you can use. Pre-computing is right down in here. And it's scanning and it's working on it. Pre-computed stems will save. They take up roughly five to ten times the size, depending on the song and complexity. They're stored in a proprietary format that's based off of an MP4 multi-track. Uh, they are going to be in the same exact location on your hard drive as your song. So Selena Gomez, hands to myself, will have uh, two files. One will say .mp3 at the end of it. The other one will have a .vdj stems at the end of it. And that's a quick overview of stems and basically how you can use it. The rest is up to you.